All right, friends, subscribers, and unknown strangers, what's up? Beard Picker here after the yard sales. So, this is video number two. The first video was uh, a lot of hats. Make sure you check that out. Here we go, video number two. All right, so bought a lot of little stuff here that it was going to take me more time to look up and try to figure out the values of and add all the screenshots in. So this video will take a little longer. The other one's easy to upload. So we set this out in two videos. First off, I got this Fitbit. It didn't have a cable, didn't have a watch, didn't have anything. She said it worked. It was a dollar. Um, I've got chargers because I bought a Fitbit charge too. They uses the same magnetic charger. Is that it's right there? Those four, little, those four little gold dots are where it charges. So I have a cable already to test it. And for a dollar, I thought, man, what the heck? All right, there's the loot. Dun, dun, dun. So let's see. The same lady who had this, um, I got these two as well. This is a, this is a, this is a Dell adapter. I'm hoping it goes to the computer I got in there. But if not, here's what you do with these things. This thing was a dollar. You look up the model number and list it as, um, I test and the light comes on, they work. Um, I've never had one come back. So there's that one. This one was a dollar as well. Uh, this is a 65 watt charger. This is one of the newer ones. One of these smaller chargers here, one of these guys. And so I feel pretty confident this one's still on demand. So I will look it up as well and you'll see it right now. I got this North Face um, pullover kind of sweater deal. It was eight bucks, and the reason why I paid up for because oh, that's beard pickers. <laughs> We're gonna lay it over there, so I take it inside to get it washed. All right. I was not gonna buy the VCR. This is a Panasonic. It's a PV. I think it's a 4521V. He said $5 and I don't need another one. Then he brought the remote out and I'm like, all right, I'll take the remote. I'll take the VCR and the remote. Because I also got this brand new. It is a eight port gigabit desktop switch by Netgear. Even though it is new, package got a little damage right there. Netgear I, on Amazon sends nasty grams and carries on. So that's gonna be, that's going to be an eBay thing. All right. Paid $10 for the GameCube. Doesn't have a power cable, but it's got this expansion pack in the back. Or whatever the hell that's called. I'm assuming that's some kind of memory and expansion pack. Oops. All right. If I can keep up with it, it's got it. So, yeah, there's that. And I have one controller, so I figure for 10 bucks, the one controller, I'll sell this. I think they're worth $25, $30. It's easy to list. Just sell it untested. Now, this gizmo here. Anybody recognize this just plain looking wired Xbox 360 controller? Uh, for a dollar, or actually it was 75 cents because I got, I got the Fitbit, I got this, and the two things for $3. So I guess it was 75 cents. Would you have walked by it? I know y'all want to see the beard. I want to. Why did the beard buy this? Anybody know? Harlan didn't know. All right. So there's. It's got to be cleaned up a little bit. I'll, I'll hit it with a, the Explorer controller. That's why. This guy is worth uh, really good money. 50 or 60 bucks for this. I know you're thinking, beard, you're crazy. There's no way. Here comes the completed. <laughs> So if you don't learn anything else in this video, don't walk by. You can go look at the controllers. And you, you don't have to know where they are, but they are. It's white like this. Xbox 360, flip it over. It'll say Explorer Controller. That's the easy way to remember. Uh, that is good money. Bought these games for a dollar a piece, right? So Family Game Night 2 is worth about nine. It's worth 20, 20 21, 22. It's got his manual, it's got everything in it. This is a beautiful shape. Super Mario Kart Party 8. I 
think this is worth like five. Bolt. I've sold a bunch of Bolt new. I think used is only worth like seven or eight. And then I didn't look this one up. I just bought it. All right. So, you're thinking to yourself, beard, beard, beard. We see two computer monitors over there. Didn't you just buy a 40 inch TV as a computer monitor? Well, yeah, I did. But let's see. Let's talk about the computer monitors for a second. One of them came with its cables, which is, that's good. This cable here, you can't buy. It's, it's not that cheap. Y'all see somebody crash in my video? This is my new fence. They, they don't know I can come in here now. One of the dogs is just around here. I think he went inside. All right. No more interrupting the video. Okay. So here we are back at the monitor. That's an HP S2031. I believe it's 21 inches. It was $1. <laughs> I couldn't leave it for a dollar. I'll test it. I'll use it somewhere. I'll do something with it. It was a dollar. And then that, the AOC is the same thing. Um, they, they both use the, these guys. That one will use a DCI or that one. One of them will use a DCI. Nice little monitor. It needs to be wiped off. But that was a dollar. A lady looked at it. A lady looked at both of them. Says, "I really need just a just a, a monitor at home. How much are they?" He said, "They're a dollar each." She looks at him. She picks them up. She looks at him, and she walks away from him. How do you need a monitor at home? Need a monitor? One of them, even if you needed one that was uh, um, HDMI, the you can get an HDMI to DPI cable. I've got one in there. I'm going to use it on the monitor here. So how do you walk away? If you need a monitor, how do you walk away from a monitor for a dollar? I don't know. I didn't need a monitor and I couldn't walk away from two of them for a dollar. So yeah, that's probably part of my disease, right? That's probably part of why the garage is so damn full. I can't even leave tires. So when I got the new tires, the back ones were still in pretty decent shape. The front ones were torn up, uh, about bald. I couldn't even leave them. I'm like, maybe I'll need them at some point. I couldn't even leave tires at Costco. I had to keep those. So yeah, it's crazy. And then this thing here, I've never seen one before. It's a Wagner. Uh, it's for doing staining. You can see it's for staining decks. The guy said he bought it. He said, I bought it and tried to take it back to, to Home Depot after two or three years. And they said they didn't carry him anymore, so they wouldn't take it back. <laughs> uh, he wanted three dollars for it. He said I'd even be willing to take one. He said I ain't willing to even make take two for it. And so when I was looking it up, I was noticing that people were buying the canister replacement and stuff. So since the packaging is not perfect, but it will, uh, it'll come apart, so it'll, it'll ship a little better. That little guy there will come out. So I need to do some research. I think the last one sold for thirty-nine dollars whether I'm gonna sell it all as one or if I'm just gonna if I'm just gonna take it apart. So so that's it. That's the yard sales. What do you think? What should I have left? Should I have left anything at the yard sales? Um, video games are easy. The GameCube that's easy. The net gear was a no-brainer. The guitar was a no-brainer. And the Fitbit. The monitors I could live with or without, but for a dollar, I have a disease. Can't help it. I have a disease. And yeah, so, and the power adapters. Uh, they're just so easy. Hopefully, one of them fits my computer. If it does, I'll tell you in the next video. <laughs> this video was also a test because this new mic is supposed to do better in wind. So, I hope that uh, the sound and quality, everything is very good here. I hope that there's not hearing a lot of wind. If there's a lot of wind, I'm going to be, I'm going to be sad faced. Due to YouTube, appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you learned something today. I uh, hope you learned the cobwebs and the craziness in this mind. Uh, what I do when I process and why I buy what I buy. All right, see you in the next one. Roll Tide.